hey boo hey welcome back to my channel it is my prayer that after you watch this video you leave feeling encouraged and inspired to adopt a few of these habits into your daily homemaking routine my name is Kay and I've been a homemaker for as long as I can remember to be honest but most intentionally for the last four years I've been a wife for seven years and my mom to two toddlers and one thing that I love to do is start my day getting dressed now I'm gonna be honest this is not something that I have been doing for a long time I was definitely Definitely the mom that would just wake up and wear literally my pajamas from the day before I was not getting dressed but I found that I entered a season of life and motherhood where I realized that I had to do something to get myself up and get myself feeling good the easiest way that I could honestly do this is by just getting myself dressed and I love wearing perfumes so I'm always spraying something I'm always having my husband buy me new scents or I buy myself a new scent just to try things out and do something new but honestly getting dressed has just made me feel so much better about who I am as a mom and how I'm showing up and representing myself as a mom. I love days that Tay is home to help me with the kids. I don't necessarily need him to do the morning routine, but baby girl, it's so nice to have him here when he is able to help us because then we're all able to get dressed and I have a little bit of extra time to get myself ready, which feels really, really good. So this habit is something that I feel like everybody talks about but it's so valid and it's to make your bed so every morning and I will say there are some mornings we don't do this but every morning I try to make sure that we make the bed because honestly it just helps me feel like something got done and it makes my room look a lot better than it does because baby the room be looking like a hot mess but the bed is made My next habit is that I always do something to touch the laundry. Like my whole philosophy for the day is just touch the laundry. It may be as simple as picking up the clothes off the floor. It may be me moving clothes from the washer to the dryer if I like wash clothes at night, but I in some way try to touch my laundry so that I can keep up with it because girl, there's a lot of laundry happening. And so to keep me from letting things pile up, I just do one thing with my laundry every day. Go ahead. Uh -oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw it in the in the thing. Throw it in. Throw it. A lot of my daily habits revolve around doing tasks and chores that I can teach the boys life skills. I feel like it's very important for boys to have life skills and know how to do things. And they don't always want to participate, but that is not the point, right? The point is that they're actually just being present and learning as we go along. And so another habit of mine is I always empty our dishwasher in the morning. Now, sometimes I skip this and it comes back to bite me in the butt when I am washing dishes throughout the day or when I'm trying to you know find something and it's still in the dishwasher so i really try to clear it out and get all the dishes put away in the morning alexa set a timer for 15 minutes 15 minutes starting now I did a video about my 15 minute reset, but honestly, especially because the holidays have just ended, the 15 minute reset is just something that really kind of keeps the house running and keeps things put together. I had almost 20 guests over for the holidays and baby, those 15 res minute resets came in clutch. My family took part in them and it's just so nice because it wasn't something that we grew up doing, but you know, once they see me doing it, now everybody's like, oh, okay, like we'll jump in and help with the reset. And so on a normal day, 
day I am able to really keep up with this 15 minute reset there goes my sister um, she was one of the people that visited me for the holidays and it was just so nice it was so nice to when it was time for me to go through and clean up and you know kind of get things back in order I didn't really have to take as much time and so one of my habits is this 15 minute reset but also sometimes i just decide to like focus in on that one room and so in this case for this week i decided that i was going to just focus in on cleaning up the entire kitchen but even then it still only took me about 20 minutes Is it just me or does cleaning seem so much more fun and enjoyable when you have other people to do it with you? I know whenever Tay is in the kitchen with me cleaning or like if we're doing a family 15 minute reset, it feels like the time just goes by so quickly and so much gets done. And so my sister was cleaning another section as she was getting ready to walk out the door. And it was just so nice because I had the kitchen, like the entire kitchen pretty much reset within my 15 minute clean. Well, I think it took about 20 minutes. I know the timer went off, but it only was like a few extra minutes that we were still cleaning and it was so crazy because like I did more detailed cleaning than I normally do during a 15 minute reset if you watch my other video you know that I kind of just like focus on picking things up but for this reset in particular I was like you know what let me just clean a few extra things since I have the help to do it and that was really nice um, you know it's not a cleaning session if Kay is not dancing and having a little party so I was definitely you know in my little element cleaning the kitchen but you know I think that we have to find the joy in these little things like in the more mundane things and even if you don't find these things fun like I don't find cleaning fun I find that I'm able to actually do it and keep up with it when I make it some sort of event and also I've just found that putting a timer to it and being like okay when the timer ends I'm gonna go sit down has been a game changer it makes me actually want to do it and continue to do it because I know that I'm not going to be cleaning all day long now I do have those sessions sometimes where I'm cleaning all day long but for the most part I'm not having to so I'm gonna be honest girlfriend I'm only cleaning off this dresser because I am about to sit down and talk and because of that I didn't want things in the background so I cleaned off the dresser today like as an extra thing that I did but my 15 minute reset was actually only supposed to be for downstairs but girl you know I'm trying to keep it nice and cute for you so yeah So for me, two of the, I would say most important things that I try to do every single day as a homemaker, and I say try because I'm not perfect at this, but the first thing is I try really, really hard to start my day or at some part of the day, like maybe when I am feeding the kids breakfast or like when my husband is home, sometimes I'll like sneak away and go into my room and I just spend some quality time with God. And quality time does not look like an hour or 30 minutes sometimes, like that used to be my life before kids, but now having kids, I'm just like, I am grateful for five minutes on my Bible app, right? And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that person that like, you know, wakes up in the morning, you know, before the kids and, you know, sits down and does a devotional. That's not me. Half the time when I first wake up and get on my phone, I'm on, you know, a social media platform. So I am really working on the habit of, you know, maybe just like read the verse of the day first, right? Like that's my first thing of the day. But one thing that I do really enjoy doing is these Bible studies by the Daily Grace Co. Those Bible studies are really, really good. And it honestly helps me just say like, okay, if I only have time to read a few verses, like I have some structure around how I'm reading those verses. So I really love doing those Bible studies and I try to do them almost daily, but the other really key thing for me is that I am a, a stickler uh, for reading Proverbs 31, right? If I don't read anything else, I'm going to flip to the pages and I'm going to read Proverbs 31 and I'm good, like that's going to fill my spirit because I said this in another video, but Proverbs 31 convicts me daily. Like it convicts me as a wife, as a mother, as a business owner. I am constantly convicted and I'm constantly shook. I'm constantly learning something new about myself or not even about myself, but like who God has created me to be. I learned so much by reading Proverbs 31. So Proverbs 31 is definitely like in the daily rotation of what I read. And truthfully, if I can't read anything else, I might even just read like those first few um, chapters about Lemuel. I'm sorry, not chapters, but the first few verse, verses um, 
about Lemuel from his from his mother like sometimes I read that and I'm like man am I passing on wisdom to my sons right like that those few those first few verses before we get into the Proverbs 31 woman it's literally a mom giving wisdom and wise words to her son who's a king and every time I read that I just think to myself like are you speaking wisdom are you speaking life into your children and so that's why I love Proverbs 31 there's something in there for me every single day that God reveals and I'm just like oh you're revealing your character you're revealing who I'm supposed to be like there's just so much that I'm able to see in reading Proverbs 31. And the second habit that is really important to me, like it's become so much more important to me, especially now that I'm a mom of two, but just becoming a mother in general. And this is something that I have to be a lot more aware of and conscious of because I'm not naturally this way, but starting my day and making sure not that I'm starting just my day with gratitude, that I'm putting that into my family. So like making sure that I'm connecting with them and their love, love language, making sure that I'm expressing gratitude, that my energy is an energy of peace, of joy, right? And so it's not easy, right? Because some days I'm just like, bruh, everybody leave me alone. But I try to make that conscious effort to love my people I like love my family in their love language so king is definitely a quality time kind of person my youngest empire he is a physical touch person my husband is also a physical touch person so just making sure that i am pouring into them but not from an empty cup right like i feel like sometimes we like kind of almost sacrifice ourselves as mom of like oh you know I, I have to hug i have to do this and it's like i don't go that extreme instead what i really focus on is just having a period of connection doing something to help them feel encouraged doing something to just show them that like mama or your wife is a peaceful space for you it's a it's a space where you know that i'm grateful that we are connected in whatever capacity we're connected in. And that is really important to me. And it's something that I noticed changes the energy of the home, right? And so, you know, people say happy wife, happy life or whatever like that. But I truly believe that as wives and as mothers, as homemakers, it is our job to set the tone and the energy of the home. And so I, I know I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't spend time with God. And I notice that the days that I don't, you know, find time to spend with God or I'm not intentional about, you know, even just getting five minutes I noticed that like I'm not able to also pour into my family and so it's super important to me and it's one of my daily habits like I literally used to write this down where it's like give you know give empire a hug or like you know cuddle with empire for 30 minutes and with king it's like you know make sure you play with the magnet tiles like I would like put these things like as my task for the day like as my to-dos and it doesn't mean that it's a chore it's because it's on a to-do list it's just like a reminder for me of like hey don't forget to connect don't forget to show the gratitude don't forget to set the tone for what you want for the home and when i tell you when i started doing this i found so much peace as a mom because there was a season which we all go through it when we're postpartum but there was a season where i just felt so like okay i what are we doing here like this is not working i i am feeling just burnt out drained out like it was just it was not a vibe and i realized that it was because i wasn't setting the tone of gratitude and that starts with having that gratitude within yourself right like we, it's so easy to say like oh i'm grateful for my family blah, blah blah but like are you showing it and that's what i had to realize is that like yeah even though i knew i was grateful even though i knew i was overall happy like i was happy with my life and with my family and all that kind of stuff i wasn't showing those things because i was still in a negative space i wasn't spending that time with god i wasn't refilling my cup in ways that i needed to and so those are two big habits that honestly if i don't do anything else for the day those two things make the entire day a win and the last part about gratitude that i'll say or just like setting the tone is that i am very intentional now this is something that it doesn't matter what's going on i make sure i do this I will go through the house and I will like touch different things that belong to the kids or my husband and I will pray over them. So when our stockings were up for Christmas, I would touch each one's stocking and I would pray for them or my husband like on his side of the bed, I'll pray for him or I'll go into his office and sit in his chair and I'll just say a quick prayer for him. These are not super long dramatic prayers, but it's just me setting like just putting that out there for them and just covering them, right? Covering the things that they touch, covering the things that they own in prayer because that is, I know for a fact that that's my job as a homemaker i can't speak for anybody else i feel like this is a role of us homemakers and wives and mothers but i am so intentional about every single day i'm going if i'm folding clothes i might stop for a second and pray over that article of clothing for one of the kids or 
um, you know, if my husband is not in bed for whatever reason, or, you know, if he goes out of town or something, I might like touch his side of the bed just to pray over him or pray on over like random things like his socks. Like I literally will pray over anything that touches them, that is belonging to them, that is in the vicinity of them. It doesn't matter. I'm constantly praying over them and their things. And I truly believe that that also sets a tone of peace, of joy, of gratitude over their lives and just brings in this energy into our home that just feels really light and just feels really spirit filled. And that's what I want. I want my family. I want my family members to always feel filled with feel filled with the spirit and so you know it's not to say that there aren't times that you know we're you know having a bad day or that you know things are just like a little bit more chaotic but it does mean that the spirit is always here and I and I know for a fact that everybody knows like even the kids like king will literally say okay Jesus or thank you Jesus or woo Jesus like they're used to me saying these things and it's setting a tone in the home that is just so important to me. What are we gonna eat for Friday? Well, wait, hold on, what's today? So we can have hamburger and more. Another one of my habits is to pull out the food for dinner for the next day. So I usually check my meal plan. I fill in the blank if there are any blanks that are missing and I go through and I pull out all the meats that we may need for the next couple of days. And this just keeps it to where we can actually follow the meal plan and not worry about things not being thawed or whatever in time for us to actually eat that meal. So that's one of my habits. And then the other habit, and this is one that I've really come to enjoy lately, is we take some time to go outside. We take some time to get in nature, exercise, do something that allows us to either go outside or be really intentional about moving inside. Another habit that we do every single day is I try to pick out our clothes for the next day and this honestly helps me be able to get us dressed in the morning without having to overthink things or wondering you know where someone's socks is where are the underwear all these different things like i'm not worried about that because we've already done all that drama the day before or the night before and so this really just helps me be able to make sure that we are getting dressed every day without like all the fuss and all the hustle and i just i really love doing this you want me new my glasses or blue glasses? Okay. Like, it's so hot. Mmm. Told on me. I told you. Oh, told. Uh huh. Pick up, pick up, pick up. The last major habit of each day is to load the dishwasher and run it at night. So this may happen when I'm cooking dinner or right after dinner, but I like to load up everything that we have, go around the house and pick up any kind of dishes that are anywhere. And I like to load them into the dishwasher and start the dishwasher. And it just makes it to where I can start my next day off pulling out all the dishes and having a clean and reset kitchen. Go stand over there and record mama. Hold it. Hold it good. Hold it good. Uh -huh. Wait, it's frozen. It's blurry as shit. Yeah, it's very blurry. Help him. It's frozen. Hold on, baby. Put it on. Ouch. Not so bad. Okay, that's it.